Very good morning, it's Penuel the Black Pen. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the video sponsor for today, which is at Squeaky Deep Clean on Instagram. Squeaky Clean is a company that does deep cleaning and does pest control in Johannesburg, in Pretoria, in Durban, and in Cape Town. I'm going to be dropping their Instagram handle in the description. I'm also going to be dropping a link to their website. You can contact them. And I'd like to thank everyone who, because of the video mentioned, has booked them for services. They've actually advertised on this platform before and they've come back saying thank you very much because people have contacted us thanks to your video mention at Squeaky Deep Clean on Instagram. And then I'm going to drop you their website link in the description below. They do deep cleaning and pest control as well. I've started doing this thing of going live on TikTok every evening and I generally have a theme and I've been enjoying the reception, you know, the likes, um, the views, and people are sending something called gifts, which I didn't even know about. But when people send you gifts, those things get converted into money. So I found out that I can get paid from going live on TikTok. So it's something I'm going to be doing every evening at 7 p.m. And I hope you'll be able to join me if you haven't started already. My TikTok handle is at God Penwell. Last night, I spoke about my religion, my belief system called Penwellism. And I gave a history of where I came from, you know being born Roman, being baptized Roman Catholic at birth. And then that, the journey I went to in finding my religious belief, identity, reading the Bible, and in 2006, deciding then that I will become an atheist. And then the years that would come thereafter, studying other belief systems, studying cults, um, studying the oldest documented religions, um, and then my desire to be a more impactful leader in various ways. Becoming the king of the Nguni people, the 28 million Nguni people in Southern Africa, and then deciding to launch my own belief system of penalism, which was what we have today, and which has its own book and its own Bible, penalism principles that you guys can get from me for 50 rand if you get it via email as a PDF, or for 100 rand if you want a hard copy. That video is meant to go on for 30 to 45 minutes. I go from 7 till half past 7, or 7 till 7.45. Yesterday, I went until 20 past 8, which means it was an hour and 20 minutes. And at some point in the last 30, 40 minutes, I found myself getting emotional, you know, and I found myself getting drained, you know, reading some of the comments, people telling me that I must find Jesus because I'm lost. People telling me that if I do not um, celebrate my cultural customs, then it means I have no sense of identity. And I was just reminded of the ignorance um, of so many people. I found myself getting angry. I found myself speaking about why black African people still don't have land, why it was so easy to conquer them, and why even today they find themselves worshipping colonial systems, begging the Europeans, the Asians, and other people that they claim are not black and don't care about them for jobs, and the cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when you have two clashing ideologies that you both hold, you know, uh, and the names have been called, you know, uh, spoke about Jesus being an imag imaginary creature or an imaginary friend that people have. I spoke about the fact that hell does not exist except for those that believe in it. And that for people like myself, because I don't believe in hell, I will not go there afterwards. And how people have been taught to be pacified um, and to always rely on religious figures and fictional imaginary characters out there. If it is not Spider-Man and Black Panther and Captain America and Thor, then obviously it's going to be a Jesus, a Muhammad, a God, a Buddha. You can never own your life and your destiny. And I own mine. You know, that is why I'm the God of my existence. I'm the beginning and the end. It's a very deep, layered conversation that needs to be had, of course. And it's very triggering because for a lot of people, their belief systems, whether it's African spirituality whether it is your customs, whether it's believing in ancestors, Amajrozi, whether it's believing in Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, um, Abraham and Moses, if you're Jewish. Um, for people, it is their core belief. It's something that they were born into. And the idea of this random guy on social media coming to dismantle those beliefs and not only dismantling them, but basically telling you, you are your own God. And if you cannot be your own God, he will be your God. Sounds very ridiculous. The reason I'm, I'm raising this, besides the fact that I'm trying to market my TikTok lives and market my book, 
penalism principles and my own belief system is I've been getting attacked in the last couple of weeks, if not the last couple of months, for my association with Rob Hershoff, who's a third generation um, businessman of the Hershoff empire of Anglo Fall, which is a big mining and industrial company. Um, I was dragged for being associated with Ntlantla Lux, especially when he was still linked to Operation Dudula and they wanted to get rid of illegal foreigners in South Africa. Uh, he has since left uh, Operation Dudula. Uh, and he is focused on his baby, Soweto Parliament, who are hosting a Soweto Olympics later on this month in October. I was dragged by some of the Zimbabwean friends and some of the other friends that I've, I've had, whether they are real friends or friends and followers on social media, for my association with Tlantla Lux. I've been dragged recently now for joining Afri Forum, which is generally an organization which fights for Afrikaner interests, the majority of Afrikaners being white people. <laughs> and that might not even be true. You might find that the majority of Afrikaans people are colored. But let's just say the majority is white. And they fight for other minority groups that they feel the governments, the ANC, have kind of left out in this new democracy and this rainbow nation. And I've just been dragged for many other things. You know, I've been accused of being a sellout. I've been accused of chasing money. I've been accused of being a puppet. And it's you know, I've got a thick skin, so these things, I, I normally let them, you know, just rub off or slide off my back. But I know there are people out there who are not smart, who are not perceptive, who do not really watch my content and who may not fully understand what's going on. And every now and then, I must humble myself and I must be patient enough to be able to explain to them what is going on and what's going on with me. Especially as someone who is pro-black, black conscious. I started the Buy Black movement. You can still go to the website today and join if you align to their beliefs. Uh, buyblack.org.za And you can read the, the FAQs there and find out what they're about and contact them and get involved. It was something I, I set up and I thought it was a really great initiative. I'm very passionate about people that are doing good work on the ground. <laughs> I've been attacked for being associated with Tutuzane Zuma because of the history he has with the Kuptas, because of his dad, Jacob Zuma, was accused of nine wasted years and mind you these when i list these people some of them don't even like each other and i'm associated with all of them and yet i get called a sellout by people who have done nothing for this country people who send their kids to private schools people who worship white business people who do not buy from black businesses because they make excuses people who do not labor for black businesses people that have bought into the money system which was not even created by black Africans themselves. I get dragged by those people because it's easier for them to bash me instead of looking in the mirror at where they failed themselves and their families and where their forefathers have failed and they were conquered and their land was taken. And then the legal system that is broken today was set up so that the same people want to fight through the courts and the political system that's broken, the same people want to fight through, fight through those political systems to try and get land back that was taken from their forefathers, not through courts, not through politics, but through violence and weapons. It's a conversation we need to have. I urge you to go and look up on the Afri Forum website at some of the work they do. They are currently fighting um, or trying to represent the late Senzo Meiwa who was murdered. Something that the ANC and the EFF haven't done. Something that black people haven't done. They've helped a royal family in the free state get their dignity back. They are closing potholes. They are patrolling borders. But I'm a sellout for contributing 100 rand a month for people that are doing good work on the ground, for supporting Soweto Parliament, the work that Tuzane Zuma is doing, the work that Rob Hershoff is doing, trying to educate black people and educate the majority on the political systems in this country. And I'm the bad guy. Chat to you guys soon, man. Have a great day. Pin you all the black pen.